Remember who his immortal mother is, Aphrodite. There is no other goddess capable of more spite than she is. He was protecting you from her. She sent him to ruin you, you know. But because of his love, he could not. That may be, but it does me no good now. He let me carry you once before. Allow me again. Let me take you to her. To the goddess? Who else? Bring your case to her. Beg at her feet. Aphrodite is so full of vanity, she will give you her blessings if she feels she has triumph over you. Will she allow me to see her son? 
If we succeed, it shall be as if none of this had ever happened. Oh, thank you, Zephyr. You have given me hope. You must care for Eros very much. Eh, uh, I do this for you, my lady. I can't stand to see a beautiful maiden cry. Now come. Like this? I'm a mess. I can't go before Aphrodite like this. Trust me, the worse you live, the better she will like you. <laughs> Mother, she's begging for another chance. Love is proven by action, not words. She will fail you again, my son. There is only one way to be sure. Give her another chance. We shall see if she is worthy of you, Eros. To gain my forgiveness and the love of my son, you have to finish a great task. If you fail, you will never see Eros again. You must cross the river Six and enter into the gate of the underworld. There, you will appeal to Persephone. Ask her for a box of beauty. But it's impossible. Physical but not impossible. Although, it may cause several discomforts, like losing your life and such minor details of your existence. On a happy note, I will give you a warning. You, the servant of the box. Forgive my intuition, but I have to give you this. I'm sorry, this is all that I have. Give this to Kelon, so that you could cross the river Styx. Don't hand it to him, instead place it in your mouth. That's how the dead do it. Good luck, my lady.